it is necessary to give basic science a chance uh, for it to be effective in contributing to sustainable development. I took part in the founding of a standing committee for gender equality in science, which brings together, I think by now, 19 international unions uh, to promote uh, gender equality in science across disciplines. And um, we very naturally uh, joined um, the international year as you know, people who support them, because of course gender equality in science as elsewhere is a uh, major condition for uh, sustainable development. Well, I should tell you the whole truth. I'm a specialist of 18th century China, and I have worked in particular on an emperor, the Kangxi Emperor, who was the second emperor of the Manchu dynasty. And the Kangxi Emperor, he knew how to use, I would say, for example, mathematics, astronomy, um, cartography, for good management of his empire. So it's not really something new that people in power know that they need science in order to manage a country properly. I would say that to a historian in science it's, I wouldn't say pretty obvious, but it's part of our, really of our job to understand how science has developed historically and how it has contributed to sustainable development, but also how sustainable development has been a condition for the development and progress of uh, basic science. Uh, so I think the history of science certainly can contribute to understanding the links between um, uh, sustainable development and fundamental science in that we are looking at things not only, you know, as I would say people who do politics, but on the longer term, because one of the one of the reasons why it, the links can be difficult to see is because they are not uh, instantaneous. It takes time and it is necessary to give basic science a chance uh, for it to be effective in contributing to sustainable development. I think my wish would be mainly that uh, politicians would take science a bit more seriously and. Uh, stop treating it as something that must yield a result or a profit instantly. We do need time, it's, it's a long-term investment, but it's really, really worthwhile. As we have seen repeatedly, you know, the, well, people talk about the COVID-19 vaccine, it wouldn't be there if there had not been fundamental research going on for decades before. So that's the most obvious example these days, but there are many, many others. And I think it's really the notion that we do not, we are not businesses. Short term investments are not sufficient. Uh, so give us time. <laughs>